Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonzo. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at who were the Luwians. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with special editions on Thursdays. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Moving right along, mythology tells us one thing while archaeology tells us another. What lands did the Luwians inhabit? Were they the indigenous people or did they migrate from elsewhere? What happened to these enigmatic people? Today we will answer these questions as we solve the mystery of these people who have been lost to history. The Luwians were a Bronze Age Anatolian peoples who lived on into the Iron Age. They inhabited western, central, and southern parts of what is present-day Turkey. Their language was Luwian, which is an Indo-European language. They did have a writing system which was based on cuneiform, which they imported from Mesopotamia. It is also interesting to point out that their unique native script was often used by the Hittites. There is also another school of thought that believes the Luwian language and written script was used over a larger geographic region than just the Hittite. What of the origins of the Luwians? There is no consensus on the origins of these enigmatic peoples. Armenia, Iran, the Balkans, the Pontic Caspian Steppe, and Central Asia have all been suggested. Their route into Anatolia is unknown and another school of thought is rather than westward migration, it is equally plausible that the Luwians migrated eastward. Perhaps such a migration of Thracians or Silesians took place roughly around 3000 before the Common Era. We can in fact verify that the Luwians first appeared on the historical record around 2000 before the Common Era. The Luwians most likely inhabited southern and western Anatolia, where their political center was located at Purushanda. This is most probable as the Assyrian colonists and traders who were present in Anatolia at this time refer to the local people as the Danua'um. It is obvious that the term derives from Luwian. During the Hittite period, it has been argued that the Luwians never formed a single unified state, rather they populated a number of polities where they mixed with other population groups. Yet the opposing thought is that they did form a unified force and brought about the end of the Bronze Age civilization by attacking the Hittites and then in other areas as the Sea Peoples. During the Hittite period, the kingdoms of Seha and Arzawa developed in the Meander Valley. In the south was the state of Kizuwatna, which was inhabited by a mixture of Hurrians and Luwians. The kingdom of Tarhuntasa developed during the Hittite New Kingdom in southern Anatolia. The kingdom of Wilusa was located in northwest Anatolia on the site of Troy. Whether any of these kingdoms represented a Luwian state cannot be clearly determined based on current evidence. In fact, it is a matter of controversy and contemporary scholarship. With regard to the kingdom of Kizuwatna, this was the Hittite and Luwian name for ancient Silesia. The area was conquered by the Hittites in the 16th century before the Common Era. Around 1500 before the Common Era, the area broke off and became the Kingdom of Kizuwatna. The ruler quickly assumed the title of Great King, just like the Hittite ruler. The Hittite King Telepino had to conclude a treaty with King Iputashu, which was renewed by his successors. Under King Pelea, Kiznawatnu became a vassal state of the Mitanni. Around 1420 before the Common Era, King Sunasura of Mitanni renounced control of Kizduwatna and concluded an alliance with the Hittites. Soon after, the area was incorporated into the Hittite Empire and remained so until its collapse around 1190 before the Common Era at the hands of Assyria and Phrygia. The city of Seha was in the area of ancient Lydia. History records their presence in the 14th century before the Common Era when the Hittites campaigned against Walusa. After the conquest of Arzawa, Seha became a vassal of the Hittite realm. After the collapse of the Hittite Empire in 1180 before the Common Era, several small principalities developed in northern Syria and southwestern Anatolia. Eventually in the 9th century before the Common Era, these cities were largely destroyed and incorporated into the Neo-Syrian Empire. The Luwians, like so many other ancient peoples, were assimilated into both Hittite and Assyrian cultures. This brings us to the end of Who Were the Luwians? Thank you for joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider becoming a channel sponsor. Your support will enable us to continue releasing quality videos and buying me a coffee always makes my day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Traveler's Tales. This really is the best way to help our channel grow. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Artistos.